Hey, what's up, people? Piz Al here, and today I want to talk to you guys about 1988's Picasso Trigger, written and directed by Andy Sedaris. Now, this is partially going to be a review of the movie, as well as a review of this upcoming Mill Creek Entertainment Blu-ray release for the film. And Picasso Trigger is the third film in the Andy Sedaris Abilene series, as I like to call them. It's the follow-up to Malibu Express and Hard Ticket to Hawaii, both of which I did reviews of. I'll post links to them around here somewhere. Go over and check them out. Now, I call them the Andy Sedaris Abilene series because all three movies feature a lead character with the last name of Abilene. However, all three of the characters have different first names and they're played by three different actors. So I'm not sure if all three of them are the same character because they're all three secret, like undercover federal agents that live on the exact same boat or if they're all of the same family, as if all of the male Abilines all got into law enforcement and all became federal agents and all live on the same boat, um, or if Andy Sedaris just thought that the last name Abiline was a really cool last name. I have no idea, I can't figure it out. And I can't figure out what the heck was going on in Picasso Trigger. This movie has an overabundance of plot, way more plot than you could ever possibly want in an Andy Sedaris film. Now, the first 15 minutes of this film, we go from Paris to Texas to Louisiana to Hawaii. We're introduced to crime lords who are into uh, drug smuggling, white slavery, and snuff films, and one crime lord who is trying to kill uh, federal agents uh, to avenge the death of his brother. Now, at some point during the movie, I just, I had to remind myself, this is an Andy Sedaris film. Why am I even trying to make heads or tails of the plot? What Andy Sedaris movies are about are beautiful women, beautiful locales, and things getting blown up. And gratuitous nudity. And Picasso Trigger has plenty of all of the above. We get rocket launchers causing explosions. We get RC cars causing explosions. We get exploding boomerangs. Basically everything in this movie either explodes or is capable of causing an explosion, even a crutch. Seriously, a crutch fires a rocket that causes a character to explode a crutch now aside from the explosions we have all of the other elements that you could possibly want in an andy sedaris film we've got lots of over-the-top action we've got some beautiful locales we've got hawaii we've got france it's a beautiful looking movie andy sedaris knew how to shoot a movie um we have a bevy of beautiful ladies in this film, particularly Hope Marie Carlton and Donna Spear, who uh, return to this film after starring in uh, Hard Ticket to Hawaii. And I really like both of them as actresses, and I really like both of their characters. I think they're solid actresses, and they both have some charm and charisma, more so Hope Marie Carlton than Donna Spear, but I really dug both of their performances and I dug both of their characters in Picasso Trigger and in Hard Ticket to Hawaii. The acting overall in Picasso Trigger is not bad considering that just about every actress in the film um, was a Playboy Playmate, which is not a knock to Playboy Playmates, but Andy Sidaris had some very, you know, non-traditional ways of casting a film. Instead of going to central casting, he went to the Playboy Mansion. Now, of Malibu Express, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, and Picasso Trigger, Picasso Trigger is easily my least favorite of the three. However, Picasso Trigger is still a really fun Andy Sedaris uh, action movie. You've got, again, all the elements that you could possibly want in an Andy Sedaris film with quite a lot of cheese <laughs> sprinkled on top of it. It was a fun time, even if I had no freaking idea what was going on in the movie, I could just sit back, enjoy the beautiful ladies, enjoy the beautiful locales, enjoy the explosions, and just have fun with Picasso Trigger. If you've not seen Picasso Trigger, 
I recommend it. It's a fun movie. This Blu-ray release from Mill Creek Entertainment would be a good way to introduce yourself to the film. If you're a fan of Picasso Trigger, you definitely want to look into picking up this Blu-ray from Mill Creek Entertainment and adding it to your collection. Now, as far as picture quality and sound quality are concerned on this release, on the back of the Blu-ray, it says that this film is available for the first time on Blu-ray from a 4K widescreen restoration. Now, I thought the picture quality on this release was quite good. Uh, it was overly grainy a couple of times in some of the darker moments in the film. Uh, there were some instances of uh, some damage to the print that the movie was restored from, but overall, really solid uh, picture quality on this release. I'd give it a three and a half out of five. Same with the sound quality. I'd give it a three and a half out of five, although there were some, some moments in the film, particularly toward the beginning where I had to like turn my television up just about all the way in order to hear the, the dialogue and sort of what the characters were saying. Not sure if that was an issue with my TV or my Blu-ray player, but it just seemed like the audio is particularly at the beginning of the film was just very low. But still, overall, not bad sound quality for this release. As far as extras are concerned, we get an optional intro with writer-director Andy Sedaris and Julie Strain. It's 1 minute and 22 seconds in length. We get behind the scenes with Andy Sedaris, Arlene Sedaris, and Julie Strain, which is 36 minutes and 17 seconds in length, in which they discuss Picasso Trigger. We get behind the scenes footage of a photo shoot with an at times new Julie Strain. We get an interview with Donna Spear conducted by Joe Bob Briggs in which Miss Spear discusses being naked in Andy Sedaris flicks. We get an interview with Roberta Vasquez conducted by Joe Bob Briggs in which Ms. Vasquez discusses working on Picasso Trigger. We get a film school tutorial featuring sequences from Savage Beach in which Andy and Arlene Sedaris break down how they get coverage etc. We get trailers for Andy Sedaris flicks and we get an audio commentary with Andy Sedaris and Arlene Sedaris. I listened to about 30 minutes of the commentary with Mr. and Mrs. Sedaris. It was a pretty entertaining and informative commentary, at least for the 30 minutes or so that I listened to. This is a nice Blu-ray release for Picasso Trigger from Mill Creek Entertainment. If you've not seen Picasso Trigger, I recommend it. It's an Andy Sedaris film. What can I say? I like Andy Sedaris films. If you're in the mood for an Andy Sedaris film, personally, I would go for Hard Ticket to Hawaii or Malibu Express before Picasso Trigger, but you can't go wrong with Picasso Trigger. It has all of the elements that you could want in an Andy Sedaris film. If you've seen Picasso Trigger, please let me know your thoughts on it down in the comment section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. They're also right around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. Join the A Buck A Month Club and help support my channel on Patreon. Thank you to my current patrons, Kevin Smythe, Orc145626, B-Movie Mike, Robert Sobel, Turi Delamore, Stephen Flanagan, Lori Holt, Craig Farrand, Farron Sutton, Jeremiah Lambert, Grindhouse Grotto, Derek Janna, Demon Waffles, Simon Clark, Stone Gasman, Zachary Barton, James Welch, Eli Geisler, Jeff Overing, Pete Toll, Kyle McGuire, Jay the Stingray, Lorne Dixon, Andrew McDonald, Dave Barnes, Jonathan Lundy, Chris Gonzalez, Trenton Bowser, Jason Breitenbach, Brandon Bizdick, and Steak Sauce. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.